I am at Liverpool South Parkway Station. I'm back in Merseyside again. So I've been home from university for the Easter holidays, um, but I've not actually done a trip to Merseyside again yet during this time. Uh, so I've come here now, and because I go back to university in a couple of days, I've got to go back and do my exams and all. I won't be able to come back here for a while until probably June. And the 507s are also very much on their way out. This could very much be the final time I ever get to ride the 507s in passenger service. So, I've got a save away. We're gonna visit some random stations and hopefully we catch a few 507s on the way. I think a train just pulled in on the other platform. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Interesting, it says they're uh, only going to Hillside today on the departure boards. Hmm. Well, it looks like we've got lucky. The first train that's coming through is a three-car service, meaning that it's going to be a 507. Wonderful. Right, well, there we are. There we go. We've got a 507. Video's over. Thanks for watching. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I will admit, I did kind of cheat, because I know that, um, so far, the only actual permanent confirmed diagrams as of me filming this video are two 507s on the Southport to Hunts Cross route. They're the only confirmed ones. Any other ones are completely ad hoc. As far as I know, actually, today I got quite lucky because there's something like three or four diagrams today on the Wirral line as well. Um, I don't know exactly which Wirral line services they're running, but that was quite lucky. So we'll be going there too. Apparently the reason the trains are going to um, Hillside is because it's rail replacement buses between Hillside and Southport. Just engineering works. As for the stations I'm actually going to go to today, it's going to be mostly random. I'm, as you may know, I'm now a bit of a station scratcher. Um, and there are a few stations on Mersey Rail I've still not done yet, so I'm just going to be going to them, scratching them off. And on the Wirral line, I think, on the West Kirby line in particular, it's Mel's and Lee, so I've not done, so I think I'll make my way to one of those two now. I've decided I think I'm going to go to Moorfields, just so I can get a little more action on the underground loop, because I like the underground loop. Well, let's uh, go ahead to the Wirral line, shall we? Oh, those screens look new. I don't think I've seen those before. So I think I'll just get the next West Kirby service, whenever that is. Oh, but the next new Brighton service is a three car. God, fine, fine. I'll take it to like Hamilton Square or wherever they split off, I've forgotten. Two 507s in a row. I thought these were supposed to be rare now. I'm on a roll. It's just like being in 2022. Ah, uh, not a 777 in sight. So I think I'll be taking this train to Hamilton Square. And then, I know that's not exactly where they diverge off, but I like Hamilton Square. I'm going to get off there. I just, I really like the 507s. Like, I know I'm not a Mersey Rail local per se, but when I was a kid, often, like, with my parents, I'd come on day trips to Liverpool and we would ride Mersey Rail to get around the centre or whatever. And so the 507s are some of the trains I have the earliest memories of, and so I find them quite nostalgic for that reason, so... It's the reason why their departure is quite saddening for me. All right, Hamilton Square, so we'll just wait a couple minutes for the next West Kirby service. Unfortunately, the uh, West Kirby service is a four car, meaning it's going to be a 777. My streak, no! <laughs> of the 507s I hope I see today, the ones I hope I see the most are probably 001 and 
016, um, 001 obviously because it's the Heritage British Rail one, but 016 because that was the first ever train ever in a shot on my channel. If you go to my first ever video, the opening shot is of a 507, and it's 507016. So if I saw that today, that'd be great. So where I'm actually going to be going is either Morton or Liso. I mean, that's just which one I go to first. I'm going to be going to both of them anyway, because I've not been to either of them, but... <laughs> nice. Right, yes, Liso. Great, another station personally ticked off for me. That leaves me with only like, what, 15 stations left on Mersey Rail? I think something like that. So yeah, we'll just have to wait here for about 15 minutes until the uh, next train, which will hopefully be a 507, because I'm pretty sure they're on this line for today. And then, yeah, that'll be it. So, be, well, for the Wirral line at least. And then we can go to the Northern line. There's a big stretch of uh, a few that I've not done on the Northern line, so we'll be heading over there after that. I'm also purposefully not looking at the departure screen because I want to be surprised with the train that comes, hopefully. Ah, okay, so I didn't realise that um, the departure boards show the coach formations for every train on the departure board. Um, and the next three on the other platform are all uh, four coaches, so I think the one here is going to be four coaches as well. So we're just going to do a quick short hop to Mel's and then go back because this train's a bit late. It'll only be like a six minute wait there to turn around. So we'll be good. Right. Speedy-ish platform change. Okay, great. So now we're at Mel's. We're going to just go back to where the Northern Wheel Lines cross over. We're going to go back to the Southport Hunts Cross route and there's a streak of like four stations I've not been to so we'll be just going around there ticking them off and hopefully finding 507s along the way. You know for the order I tick them off I could probably follow this old plan I made that I never actually did but if we look particularly at these ones here Hall Road, Seaforth, Blundell Sands and Waterloo they're the four I'm talking about so I might just go do them in that order since I seem to have planned them like that before. <laughs> So I think we will take this train back to Moorfields to change back to the Northern Line and yeah, we'll get the next Southport Mound train. Hopefully it's a 507. Rumour has it, I think, that um, 001, the one in the Heritage British Rail livery, is on the Southport to Hunts Cross diagrams. So maybe we'll see that one. Righty, here it comes. More fields. <laughs> Alright, so as we make our way back to the Southport line that has the at least two diagram 507s, we should be seeing them again. Those brakes sounded a lot like a 507. It's going the wrong way, never mind. <laughs> All right, well, lucky for me, there is a Southport or well, hillside service, but it's a 777 again. So I think we're going to take this train to Hall Road and then there'll be a bunch of backing and forthing, I think. I forget that you can, like, you can really feel the acceleration of these trains when they move. God, you get, like, pinned against your chair. Next stop's Hall Road, and we have something like a four minute turnaround there. Let's hope we make it. Ah, okay, there's a bridge. Good. Nice. Oh, the level crossing actually did open. Oh, could have just used that. Oh well, I'm already on the bridge. Who cares? Oh, 
oh, there only seems to be a departure board on the other platform and not this one. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be entirely chance here to, to oh my god, the wind, to uh, know what uh, train's coming. Oh, the one on the other platform is a six-car service, huh? They're still running double 507s, huh? Anyway, so we'll be going from here to, I think, is it Blundellsands or Seaforth? Let me check. Ah, it's uh, Seaforth. Cool. Wait, really? Six coaches, three coaches, and then another three coaches? That can't be right, what? I'm thinking of a slight change of plan, because normally at Waterloo they are meant to arrive at exactly the same time. So, you know, I didn't want to risk it, but because the train going the other way is one minute late, I'm going to be able to make it. So I think I'm going to go to Waterloo and just run across the platform. Because now I'm intrigued to see if that six car is actually a six car. All right, we're at Waterloo. The train's meant to come in one minute. I'm very curious. Let's uh, see what shows up. Also, yes, I can't go without mentioning Waterloo. There are multiple other places also called Waterloo. Nope, it is a six car, and one of them is 001. The heritage livery one. Great. Nice, I am so happy I got this. Okay, cool, we got 001 scored. It's a shame I'm only going one stop on this, but yeah. Oh well, I got it. Great. All right, we're approaching Blonde and Sons of Crosby now. Uh, just before the train leaves, I want to go and see which unit number the other one is, in case it's 016. If it's 016 as well, coupled to this one, that would be amazing. I don't typically tend to unit bash, per se, but today I'm making an exception. Okay, apparently the second unit was 003. Oh well. But still, we got this one, so that's very nice. Now, I couldn't actually see another way to get to the other platform. There's no bridge or crossing, so I'm going to guess it's this subway here. Here we are. Here's the other one I wanted. Right here. 507-016. The first ever train that appeared on my channel in the literal first shot of my first video it opens up to this train so this truly is like the OG train for the channel Well yeah there are the two 507s in particular I wanted to see so taking this one we'll stop to Seaforth and Litherland and we'll get off there at South Park Station. And that does mean that yes, unfortunately, the current 507s and 508s do not have long left. So if you want a chance to see them, do it now while you still have the chance. I'm happy. I got to at least see a pep. Yay. Well, yeah, there it goes. The uh, first ever train, exact unit, that was... Uh, ever on this channel. That's a very fitting one to have as the last one, I think. I definitely am going to miss the 507s once they're no longer here. They're very hard to come by now and it just really sucks. They are like a very nostalgic train for me. That's some of the earliest memories I have of trains are the 507s. And now they're gonna very soon be gone. 
It's very sad, but the 777s are cool as well. So they're a worthwhile upgrade for sure. Long needed. <laughs> but yeah, there we are. Most probably my final ever time on the 507s. It's, it feels weird to say that, but yeah, that's it. So all good things must come to an end. I'll miss the peps, but they needed replacing. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like and subscribe would be appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a massive shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. And a warm welcome to my new standard premium member, Bosses Amanda. Thank you for supporting the channel.